The great wizard Alan Watts says that no amount of anxiety is going to make any difference to anything that is going to happen. You see, when we start to worry, that causes us to worry about being worried. Once in this state, we worry that by being worried about being worried, we will never not be worried, which is very worrying. This is because we don't have much control of the outer world, but what we do have full control over is the inner worlds. We're not defined by what happens to us, we are defined by how we react to the things that happen to us. And look, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm not saying I've got this down, in fact I'm extremely guilty of being an anxious Andy, but that's why we're here. And I'd like to take you through the five ways Alan Watts has saved me from anxiety. Alan Watts was a British thinker and speaker, known for interpreting and popularising Buddhism, Taoism and Hindu philosophy. He's had a resurgence of popularity in his afterlife thanks to the YouTube. You can now find hours and hours of his lectures online, mostly edited to relaxing B-roll and soothing lo-fi beats. Oh, um, tasty. Over the hundreds and thousands of years, the function of our brain's conscious attention was designed to help us stay alive in the wild and avoid us getting eaten by some very hungry wildebeest. This is done by scanning the environment for any troublemaking, but if we identify ourselves with our troubleshooting, then naturally we will define ourselves as being perpetually in a state of anxiety. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not our flight or fight system. We all live in a capitalistic society whereby we think in order to achieve ultimate contentment is to be on the other side of our desires and dreams. If only I could fall in love with the right person, then everything would fall into place. If only I could get that promotion, then I would be able to no longer worry about my expenses and bills. But you see, when you get to the top of the mountain, you then find yourself looking at a new vista with new mountains to climb and new headaches to overcome. And who knows, you may have made yourself sick through chronic stress to get that promotion. So now you find yourself needing more money just to get over these new illnesses that you've created for yourself. As with yin and yang, the bigger the reward, the bigger the problems come with them. So be careful what you wish for. This one really scrambles my noggin. Alan Watts says that we are not the ones thinking our thoughts or feeling our feelings. So how does one even think our thoughts? Isn't that like trying to see your eye with just your eye? That is impossible. But we try so hard to think our thoughts that nasty oscillations start to appear. It's like when you direct a mirror at a monitor and you see a never ending series of your own reflections which get more and more distorted the further out they go. You are not thinking your thoughts. It is merely a stream of consciousness entering your peripheral. I think, anyway. Oh, damn it! There I go, thinking again. Thoughts have a very thin bandwidth. You can only think one thought at a time, whereby reality is a 360 experience. It's multi-layered and nuanced. It's gray, not black and white. So when you attach your thoughts to reality, you are by definition confining it within a box. So by boxing in that reality, you narrow your thoughts to no longer living in reality. You find yourself living in a low resolution version of reality. Even worse, you're living in a poor substitute for reality. Your opinion of it. Ah, the principle of not forcing. In life, I've found the harder I try, the worse the outcome. It's like in golf. Most people, when they tee up to the green, are so fixated by trying to hit the ball as far as they can, they end up tensing up and gripping the club just that little bit too tightly. Sometimes, in this state, you can actually swing so hard that you miss the ball entirely. It's only when you loosen the grip and swing a little lighter that you find the ball gets sweetly struck and flies through the air like a majestic acorn destined for its hole. Don't murder the ball. Thank you so much for staying till the end. If you did enjoy this episode, please consider subscribing and maybe, just maybe, tinkle that little notification bell too. Anxiety, 
Anxiety, sashe away, sashe away. Anxiety, sashe away. Anxiety, sashe away. I don't want to feel you today. Anxiety, I don't want to feel you today. Ang, ang, anxiety. Yeah.